I posted a video on 3D printing multicolor on the Ender 3 and it got a lot of views and a lot of things have changed since then and I'm going to show you how to do it now, today, 2024. Guys, that you actually, on the new Creality software, you cannot actually print two colors. Like, they will not let you use this option, which is common in all the slicers, all the modern slicers like Orca, um, Bamboo Labs, and also Prusas. So, check this out guys, when I go to plate, I just, it, it took me a while to figure this out. It doesn't want to, it doesn't let me save it. It doesn't let me do anything. It just tells me that I currently, do not, uh, my, my printer does not support multicolor, which I was supposed to do it manually. This is Orca Slicer, which is similar to Bamboo Labs and similar to all the ones that I was showing you guys. So, I just dropped the file, the same file and all my settings are the same so this is where all the information is on this one it's all on the left so the strength the speed it's all on the left and it's all the same stuff so if you guys haven't heard of orca slicers it's probably the best open source software out there for slicing 3d printing files so i selected my item i sliced it And guys, it's the same deal. So you go here and you find where you want to change the filament. And so currently I'm using a filament dryer box with a bowling tube to direct the filament into my extruder. Um, before in the past, I used to have the spool on top of uh, the ender and that usually takes a lot of space and also creates unwanted vibrations. So I think the... So here you go guys. This is the moment with the filament, uh, the pause on the G-code creates um, a stop. So right now while the, the extruder is hot, um, I will change the filament to the second color and what I'm doing right now I'll go I'm going into the settings and then I'm extruding 150 millimeters of filament just to clear out the nozzle So here you go guys, this is the extrusion of the 150 millimeters. You could do 50 millimeters, you could do 100. I like to do 150 just to make sure that it's completely clear before I lay the second color down. And guys, make sure you clear the tip of the nozzle before the, the printer starts again. Guys, make sure you, you wipe the tip of the nozzle to make sure you get a better clear results like I did here so guys thank you for watching like and subscribe and catch you on the next one let me know if you guys have any questions I'll be happy to answer any questions regarding changing filament all that stuff what do I use all the tools